Hello children, still we are in the third lesson of your geography book. That's the landscape of Sri Lanka. And today we are going to finish your lesson. This is the last part of our lesson, okay? So here we are going to learn more about our country. And you can download my or else you can watch my other videos from the following link. Let's go to the lesson. Hello children, today we are going to start the landscape associated with Jaffna Peninsula and surrounding islands. Jaffna, when we talk about Jaffna, it's a very hot area. It's in the northern part of Sri Lanka and there is a close proximity to the Indian Ocean. Okay, so in that case, normally, uh, normally put the current normally dry winds are coming from the India to Jaffna. That turn also uh, another reason for its prevailing a dry climatic condition. Let's go to the lesson to learn more about this area. Jaffna Peninsula and the islands like Dale of Kites and Nainatiu close to its are located in the northern part region in Sri Lanka. These areas are very important. Dale of Kites and Nainatiu. There are flatlands, lagoons, islands, sand sheets, rich red soils, limestone soils and underground water are striking features of the landscape associated with Jaffna Peninsula and Islands region. Putala flatlands especially coastal area so especially there are no any hilly areas, mountain areas, there are only flatlands, lagoons islands, sand sheets and rich red soils, limestone. So those are abundant features here in this area and underground water. Okay, so here this region does not receive rainfall from the main types of rain. They don't receive rain like us. Okay, so hence physical landscape as well as human landscape are built on factors like low rainfall, high temperature and high evaporation. I think uh, do you, you have some experience uh, of this area because it's really, really, really hot, can't bear because high temperature, high evaporation and the other one is they do not receive rainfall like us, they are receiving low rainfall. Okay, those are the factors, those are the main reasons for that area, uh, those are the main reasons for the high temperature. Well developed agro land utilization using sweep wells from the past and pumping of water present in the main feature in the human landscape. Vegetables like potatoes, chilies, red onions, beetroot and fruits like grapes, mango and banana are grown in farms maintained with groundwater. But even though they do not have proper water facility, they are doing agricultural activities. Especially have you tasted have you tasted Jaffna grapes? Very tasty, you know. So here they are growing potatoes, chilies, red onions, beetroot, fruits like grapes, mango, banana. So those are cultivated, maintained by groundwater. They are maintained with groundwater. Coastal fishing industry, handcraft and industry and the producing salt which are carried out using resources in the region are characteristics of the human landscape, especially coastal area of Putala, fishing industry and salt. Those are abundantly can be seen as well as handicraft industry also too could be seen here. Abundance of palmara palm using them for the day-to-day -day activities is the main feature of this region. Roofs that which palmara fronts and fences covered with palmara fronts, food produced associated with palmara goods producing using palmara palms are common here they are mainly their livelihood is bound with the palmara palm as i said you already they are making sweets food their roofs are they are covering with uh, this palmara uh, palm palmara palm so those kind of things are everything their lifestyle is bound with palmara palm okay features like hindu temples nallur religious festivals Processions as well as devotees are a part of this culture based on Hindu religion. There are most of there are abundant we can see most of the people are belongs to Hindu. Okay, Hindu devotees are living there. Okay, uh, so here we can see the features like Hindu temples, Nallur, Kovil, uh, those kind of religious festivals also 
we can see uh, in Jaffna the coastal area suitable for bathing and diving located around the mainland and island. The eastern coast bird sanctuary at Chundikulam and Nainatyu have made this region a tourist zone. Now here put the they asked Chundikulam and Nainatyu, these are the bird sanctuaries in the eastern coast. Those have made the tourist zone, tourist attraction. They have grabbed the tourist attraction. Now here Putala, though it's a harsh land, landscape, it possesses both the specific cultural identity and rich economy built by strong work ethics and great effort. Now even though it's a harsh landscape, it's difficult to live there very hot it possesses both specific cultural identity there's they have their own specific cultural identity and they have rich economy because they are cultivating everything there and it built a strong work ethics and great effort so here putana you can see <coughs> jaffna elephant pass kilinochi mulatir mena delf kites jaffna now here we learned about this this area of our country okay this northern part of our country so here palmara you can see yeah, look at this this kind of coastal belt you can see everything grapes their handcrafts and not see everything uh, existed in the northern part of sri lanka and uh, now uh, write separately the specific features of the physical and human landscape associated with Jaffna Peninsula and Islands. You have to write separately specific features of physical and human landscape. What are the physical and human landscape associated with Jaffna Peninsula and Islands? Prepare a handbill about the unique cultural features that could be seen in landscape associated with the islands of Jaffna Peninsula. It's very easy. Mark can name kites, Jail, Nagadipa, Nallur Kovi, uh, Sultan and Elephant pass on the sketch map of Sri Lanka. You have to use Putal when you are using this. You have to use a Sri Lanka map. Okay. Explain how Palmara palm is useful to the people of Jaffna Peninsula. So here then I said you already what are they doing with Palmara Farm okay and let's go to the next part of the lesson that is the landscape of the coastal belt. Sri Lanka has a beautiful coastal belt okay let's go the coastal belt that runs around Sri Lanka with physical features like islands, bays, lagoons, points and marshes possesses a unique landscape we know about that the mangroves that grow along the coast, coral reefs as well as attractive sand sheets are basic features of this landscape. Putala, now the coastal belt, it runs around Sri Lanka with the physical features like islands, there are islands, bays, lagoons, points, marshes. Those are possesses a unique landscape because we are, we, our country is an island. The mangroves that grow along the coast. What is the purpose? What is the what is the uses of mangroves? To protect the coastal belt and the earth surrounded area. Okay. So here coral reefs as well as attractive sand seeds are basic features of this landscape. A human landscape built on this physical landscape can be also be seen this human landscape and the physical landscape is just like those are interconnected putala okay so here the attractive coastal areas like thangal hambantota pasikuda unavatuna arugambe and beautiful coral reefs at hikadu have attracted the tourists we have a beautiful coastal belt around our country Hotels, restaurants, archaeological places like houses, religious centers, sanctuaries, recreational centers and national forest reserves pursue tourists to visit this zone frequently. Then only we can earn tourist income, foreign currency especially. We can uh, take dollar to the country because we have a beautiful coastal belt around the country. The fishing industry conducted in shallow sea along the coastal and lagoons. 
in lagoons fishing industry especially they are doing in lagoons mangrove marshes and fishing settlements distributed along the coastal belt are also the features specific to this zone there are mangroves marshes and fishing settlements are distributed along the coastal belt <coughs> mangroves are very very important you know uh, those days um, in 2004 we had tsunami we faced tsunami those days where there were lot of ab abundant where there were abundant of mangroves those areas were protected from tsunami and their property people property and lives also protected because of the mangroves when there are mangroves put there it reduces the pressure of the waves okay when the waves are coming to the land from from the, from the sea to the land so they it's coming with high pressure and put there when tsunami situation and no those are reducing from the mangroves okay so here these are the specific features and the various industries carried out based on the resources found in the coastal area are also specific special feature of human landscape there are various industries are carried out based on the resources found in the coastal area those are a special feature of human landscape Oil products, dry fish products, limestone industry. Those are shown as examples. These are the especially dry fish, limestone, and oil products. Those are very important. There are also occasions where coastal landscape has been damaged due to some human activities like breaking of coral reefs and removal of sand from the beach, etc. We are very selfish, Nepotala. So here we are thinking about. to earn some money but we are not thinking about the natural natural beauty and all in that case we are breaking the coral reefs and removal of sand from the beach okay in that case when we are doing this kind of activities it's removal of sand from the beach the other one is if we go to this part here you can see Point of Pedro, Kajafna, Kites, Nainatiu, Naldur, Kanda Swami Temple, Chundi Kulam Bird Sanctuary, Mulatiu, uh, Kokabil Bird Sanctuary, Mena, Kuneshwaram Temple. So here we can see here those are here Mena, uh, Thalavila Sena and Church, Kalam Buhi Kadu. Here our country is and here Yala, Diga Baapi, Pasi Kudani La Valley. So here it's covered by a beautiful coastal belt. Okay, now here attractive landscape with diversity of physical features located around Sri Lanka. We are local and foreign tourists visit frequently. Now here put the attractive landscape with diversity of physical features. We have attractive landscape. There are various kind of physical features. If we go to New Orleans, another climate. Jaffna, those kind of dry zone, another climate. Around Sri Lanka, we are lo local and foreign tourists visit frequently. Not like the other countries when they have winter season for the whole country, they have winter. If they have summer, whole country summer. But our country is not like that. There is a diversity we can see within the country. It is clear due to that. Uh, though Sri Lanka is a small island, the landscape that are different to each other can be found. We can see the differences. If a person travels either from north to south to east to west of Sri Lanka, he may observe all these landscape even within a day. There are mountain areas in hilly region and the, uh, the, in the coastal belt. There is another kind of landscape. So you can experience of those kind of things within a day. Name the specific features of landscape associated with the coastal belt of Sri Lanka. You know, mark and name two bays, lagoons, points, and islands, and three tourist attractions located in the coastal belt. These are easy questions, and mark five landscape you have learnt on blank map of Sri Lanka. Putala, you have to always go through with your Sri Lanka map atlas. Okay, so here map book is very important. Prepare a flip chart including the specific features of the landscape of those five zones. Study the landscape of region you live and describe the physical features and human activities that can be found there. What are the physical features and human activities you know? 
prepare voucher include in the tourist attraction to be distributed to tourist on wonder of the hill country okay so here now i finish your third lesson of the book that is the landscape of sri lanka so you can watch my other videos as well okay see you from the next lesson thank you so much